The idea of a Diablo 2 style free to play action RPG with a bunch of modern touches and a continuous drip of content is just appealing to me on a core level. But Grinding Gear Games' 2013 Path of Exile manages to transcend this brilliant premise with quality, a sprinkling of weirdness and a staggering amount of depth. Perhaps the representative emblem of Path of Exile is this 1325 point skill tree, a tree built to rule them all if only it were not alone. Every build exists as a combination of this tree, your gear and your slottable skill gems. Your starting class simply dictates where you begin on the tree and at what point skill gems are available to purchase. Everything else is negotiable. This open approach is everywhere and results in a collaboration between the community and development team whereby the developers feel confident throwing mechanics at the wall and seeing what sticks because they know the community will enjoy discovering and exploiting it even if it's not perfect. That dynamic has given Path of Exile its longevity both for a nine-year-old game with an accurate Active community and for a game that I have revisited on a regular basis since 2013. You see, there are so many levels on which to engage with Path of Exile, and I have to confess, I am nowhere near the peak of that mountain. The mechanical density of the tree, elemental interactions, item functionality, and end game structure make this a game worthy of scholarly study but more importantly for the fool shaped child i am there's just always more to play with that academic level of engagement is in no way essential the first time i played path of exile i sort of muddled my way through a build and just about managed to beat the final boss no googling necessary if that had been my total experience of the game i'd have walked away happy yet i did continue to return i started following builds trying a different one every time and slowly understanding how an effective build functioned, eventually building the confidence to diverge from those builds into skills I preferred to play with. These returns were sometimes months or even years apart, this game always occupying a small but dedicated abode in the back of my brain. And when I did revisit, it wasn't just for a new build, there was always some mad new league mechanic too, from slaying beasts with a jolly hunter to clearing out mines. My most recent visit contained a lot of instant television teleportation to the shadow realm that I didn't really understand. <laughs> And they've always had fun side mechanics like fully customizable hideouts for if you really want to interior design a sewer. The first fling with Path of Exile is very satisfying. My current will they won't they style dalliance is also brilliant, but I can absolutely see it supporting a full time committed relationship ending with little demon children in a beachside retirement home. It doesn't even try to get you to pay for it. This is a free to play model that never felt essential. Just small convenience and cosmetic items. Now, of course, none of this would really matter if it wasn't so delightful to play on a moment to moment basis. There are 276 active skill gems and a lot of them are proper fun to use. If you want to be dancing around everywhere, they've got like six different dashes. What about raising the dead, shooting ice waves, releasing the power of electricity from your measly fingers? If you want it, Path of Exile has got it and it probably feels pretty good to use, particularly in later levels. When you've gone through that curvaceous acceleration ramp where everything from attacks to movement gets speedier. Now, unfortunately, this acceleration also applies to the fantastically varied enemies. Every new thematic area introduced a collection of weird monsters with enough mechanical variation to keep the hostilities interesting and surprisingly challenging. This game really rewards focused mechanical skill, particularly in the set pieces and boss fights, which do a great job of not just being big meatballs to slap to death. They've always got some mechanic or attack that you need to be paying attention to, and while you're doing that, probably notice their brilliant designs. Look, I'm going to be honest, the story wasn't really a driving force for me in this game. It's not that it was necessarily bad, it's not what I was there for but the vibes were immaculate. These bosses look great and the grungy dark fantasy styling is applied to a bunch of fun aesthetic environments and creatures, making Rayclass the cool place to be. I will likely return to Path of Exile every year or two until the sequel comes out, at which point I'll probably return to that. Because every time I put the game down, I walk away satisfied, but kind of looking over my shoulder thinking, no I don't, I'll be back. And that, weirdly, is why Path of Exile is so good.